Hello, my name is Andre, and today I'm going to talk about running Talos operating system in Kimo on your local laptop. Uh, by the end of this video, I will have a HA cluster uh, with the Talos operating system running on my laptop in Kimo as virtual machines, and that will give me Kubernetes cluster with the HA control plane and a single worker node. So let's get started. So first of all, let's see how the what is going to be deployed and how this would look like. So the Talos is going to create a, a bridge uh, on my host uh, with the slash 24 network. And to that host bridge, there will be four Kimu VMs attached, three master VMs and a single worker node. There might be more worker nodes, of course, but three master nodes um, are going to give me HA control plane. Also, there are going to be some helper processes started uh, for DHCP to configure each VM address and uh, host name. Metadata server, which is going to give virtual machines the Telos configuration when they're going to be booted. And uh, Kubernetes load balancer for the control plane endpoint, uh, which would allow me to access my cluster using kubectl in HA way. Also, once I'm the cluster is provisioned, I will be using Talos CTL uh, to access my cluster over the Talos API, and this is going to talk directly uh, through the bridge to the virtual machines. So let's get started. Uh, first of all, I need to download some artifacts from the Talos release. I'm going to use the latest one, 070 at the moment. What I'm going to need is the Talos CTL binary for my architecture. In this case, it's AMD64. And uh, image of the NitRamFS also for my architecture and the Linux kernel. I have those assets already pre-downloaded here in this directory. And so I can get started. I'm going to run the Talos CTL uh, and ask it to create the local cluster. So Talos CTL cluster create. I'm going to tell it to use the to use the Kimu provisioner so that the Talos nodes are going to be created as Kimu virtual machines. Um, and I'm going to tell it to run the three masters and a single worker node. And also what I need to do is for the initial boot to give the uh, boot assets, that's the kernel and the uh, initRamFS image. So I'm going to say VM Linux path and give the, the file name I downloaded from the Telus release and also the same with the uh, init RamFS path. Okay, and I will going to add one more thing, which is specific to my environment, uh, pull through registry caches. Uh, they are covered in a separate video if you want to use them, but this is not required. This is just going to speed up the deployment and uh, also save my bandwidth. So let's get start. Let's try that. Talos CTL is going to guide me uh, through this process. So first mistake I did, I ran this command without sudo as a regular user. And as creating a bridge and those interfaces requires root privileges, I will restart with sudo, also giving it dash E flag, so it preserves the environment. Um, this way, when Talos CTL is going to create directories to store the cluster state, they're going to, to be created in my home directory, not in the root home directory, which will give it easier access for me to those files. Let's try once again. So, okay, I got to the next problem. Uh, looks like I don't have Kimo installed, so let's get Kimo installed. And I'm on Ubuntu, so I'm just going to get the K 
Chemo installed and by default Ubuntu installs it with all the dependencies. So I don't have to worry about those. They're going to be unpacked and installed in a second. And uh, we can try once more. Okay, let's see what's going to be this time. Looks like it's getting better. Um, also, Talos CTL, uh, if this is missing, is going to download a CNI bundle, which is a bundle of few CNI plugins, which are used to build the, um, the bridge interface and the interfaces for each VM. So what is happening right now? Actually, the VMs are already running. The bridge interface is already set up. Uh, and the Talos is booting up right now and installing itself. And soon we'll see more output. But while this is happening, we can look into the state of the system in a second tab. So I can show you, for example, the interfaces and here in the interface list we can see the bridge interface which got created automatically and for virtual ethernet interfaces um, we can also list the addresses uh, to see that so that is the same as i showed in the diagram on 10.5.0 network um, so while I was showing that, you can see that the Talos is got booted, and at the moment it's bootstrapping the cluster. So it's building this initial HA control plane, and the first step towards that is building an etcd cluster, and then running Kubernetes on top of that. What we can also do, we can also look into the console logs for each uh, server. They are stored by default in .talos directory. Uh, clusters, then cluster name, the default is Talos default, and then they're named by the name of each node. So I have Talos default master one log, and you can see how it got booted with Kimo. Uh, it's the initial boot with the Talos kernel, then followed by the install, and we can see what's going on right now. So you can see all the Talos services got started, and at the moment, it's running Bootcube that happens on the Bootstrap. Um, that's the service which sets up self-hosted Kubernetes control plane. Um, and uh, it will take a few for the control plane to be Bootstrap, CNI to be up. But once that is done, the cluster will be ready. So what we can also do while we are waiting for that, is we can use Talos CTL uh, to access the cluster while it's still bootstrapping. Let me make this bigger. And so when I'm using Talos CTL, what Talos CTL cluster create did, it created a client configuration for me, so I can use that now to access my cluster. For example, I can access the first node and ask for the node version. You can see it's 070, right? I can also see, for example, the list of the services, or I can run the dashboard, get the state, logs, and so on and so forth. There are many ways to explore the Talos APIs. Let's see how our cluster is. So it's still running Bootcube. Oh, it's just finished. And uh, right now it's running the health checks for the Kubernetes and Talos itself. We can see that etcd is healthy. So we have a three node cluster. Bootcube finished. API ID, which is a Talos daemon, which provides the API access is up. Kubelet is up. All the Kubernetes nodes reported, uh, and they are all ready. And control plane components are ready, and all the nodes are scalable. And when cluster create finishes, it prints the information about the cluster, the network, the nodes, their IP addresses. 
And also it uh, merges in the uh, Kubernetes configuration. So what I can do, I can do kubectl get nodes to look into the, the cluster. So we can see I have four nodes and indeed three master nodes. I have HA control plane running Talos 070. And at this moment, it's fully functional Kubernetes cluster I can use to deploy um, any kind of workload. And how much time did it take? Probably five minutes to get up and running. Uh, once I'm done with this cluster, uh, I can destroy that. So I can use once again Talos CTL for that. Cluster destroy provisioner Kimu. And that is going to stop all the VMs, uh, clean up the network interfaces, uh, load balancer, and all this stuff. Uh, thanks. Uh, and I'm going to post the links to the documentation uh, in the video description.